Hello YouTube, today I've got a bit of an interesting announcement um, to make or to speak about and that is an announcement that Harvester, one of the Kerbal Space Program developers from Squad um, put up on uh, the Kerbal Space Program forums or you know on the Kerbal Space Program website and uh, basically he talks about the new point twenty three update which uh, will be coming out I guess fairly soon because they've already got some of the stuff working by the sounds of it so basically, um, I'll go through the list of all the things that they're going to be changing for point 23, and uh, basically it's going to be an optimization and bug fixing update with a few gameplay changes, but not really adding anything too much. So first of all, they said they're going to have some all-around optimizations, and it says they're going to go through all the game code and try and make everything run as smoothly as possible and as efficiently as possible, and they've also said they're upgrading to the latest version of Unity. Uh, they've also said that uh, they're going to change the way that science works in this and the way that you transmit science so you're not going to be able to exploit the science transmitting system anymore but that said um, you will be able to uh, from the looks of it or from the sounds of it um, use a science lab which I'll put a picture up of on the screen because they've already sort of shown us what that's going to look like to actually can you know to work out what the data um, you know so you don't have to send it back to the lab to do some tests and things on it, you can actually just take the lab with you, is the idea. And uh, that lab looks fairly substantial and looks like it's probably going to be quite difficult to get anywhere. Um, so, you know, that's going to be an interesting gameplay feature. They've also added um, some data transport options through EVA, so I guess that means you can move stuff between capsules, like over space stations, things like that, which is kind of interesting. And um, it also says there's a load of other stuff that they've changed, so they've changed the user interface a little bit, um, added steerable landing gear, uh, added secondary propellants for engines, I quote, which sounds interesting, that might mean things like hybrid engines uh, between jet engines and rocket engines, um, they've also said they've added a lot more biomes, which is useful. Um, I hope hope they'll be able to cover the whole solar system soon. Whether they'll have done that in this update, I don't know, but uh, hopefully they will. And it also says they fixed a whole load of long-standing bugs. Uh, the other little thing that they said they've added is a tweakable menu, which is essentially going to be a big menu system that works within the vehicle assembly building and the space plane hangar and lets you adjust some properties of the parts that you're building with. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it then give it a thumbs up and a favourite. If you have any suggestions or questions then leave a comment down below. As I said, thanks for watching and have a nice day.